aggressively regulated. Guys, but, come on, we already have the Bill of Rights. It's a very incredible, powerful document. It can be applied to people. I agree. We don't need a new one. Well, I mean, like more like the way you built like a like a Bill of Rights, like consumer protection laws in like the '60s and '70s and '80s. With new emerging things in the economy, you need to write rules that deal with them specifically. Like these things are unprecedented. We've never had Google and Facebook eliminating jobs of people who write online quizzes for fucking BuzzFeed. These are novel challenges. Just regulate them. You have to start regulating them. I want to say online That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 I was backstage, so I couldn't fully really hear it. What? How much money was generated by the online quiz? Because I was thinking, what if you just had like five, uh, what if you had like five online quiz dudes, cut the minimum, cut the executives who have those huge MBA salaries, and between the five online quiz dudes, the eliminated executive salaries. You can just pay the reporters, like you know. If you want to say, if you want to find out which chicken nugget you are, pay the person on Patreon or another platform to design your quizzes for you. Wait, wait, I got it, I got it. I'll tell you. Tell people they're putting money towards building a wall. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. All right, guys. We have time for one more question, but don't worry, we're gonna come out and say hi to everybody. So one. Sorry? MMT. I'm going to pass That's it. That's not a question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're going to keep fighting the uphill battle of like, you know. Well, wait, no, seriously. Like, oh, come to me after the, the show. I'll talk to you about it. Cooperatives. All right. Yeah. Yes. Right How long should we give Bernie to, to, to declare until I we. Two weeks. <laughs> I'll say, guys, I need to repeat the question. How long do we need to wait to give Bernie a chance to run before we throw our support in for Warren? Until he says he's not running. USA, USA, Lula Libre, USA, Lula Libre. I don't what's happening in other countries because we just start chanting USA. That's how I express my fear. Lula Libre! Everybody up on this stage, I I have so much appreciation for. Obviously, along with David Slavic, who unfortunately couldn't be here tonight, those their great digital students. Artists who's filming the whole thing. Woo! He's amazing. Uh, yeah. He's my friend. He's my friend. We do great work together. As soon as I got the concept of this, he's the first person I talked to because I knew I needed him. And David Briscoe came through. He came through one of my best friends. My, one of my best friends, Luke Mayville, who's getting people Medicaid expansion in Idaho. Luke and I met in Turkey in 2007, and we've been friends ever since. And last year he said, you should, uh, I taught this kid uh, at American University, and you should let him stop by. And I was like, sure. And then David showed himself to just be an indispensable, excellent broadcast talent. Um, I appreciate the work. T, listen to Champagne Charts. It's so fucking smart. It's so funny. And T is one of the best, most genuine, intelligent dudes you're going to meet. Alona is an awesome powerhouse. Work we've done together, but it's so. I did the, the impetus I had to sign. You know, we were talking at a party once, I think, for Josh Zeps or something like that. And I remember, yeah, oh, it's another one. But, but I, I love, there's like very media savvy people in the time. Oh, I know Josh Zeps, he told me something I didn't like in 2013. But I always remember, I always was like, because we did a few like cop posts and stuff, I was like, you know what, I think it would be really fun to do. Something that was more laid back with a little bit. Something that was still smart and fun and engaging, but something that would be, you know, the show we do. And so it's awesome that you're part of it. I Woo! appreciate it. Then you met me at a party and saw what I went like Yeah, I and then you're like, yeah, it is. It's that people need to like fucking run up. It's like, I want her on the show. <laughs> Woo! I like how I like Alona's arcs of like, in the beginning, like, I think you're right, Michael, an alternative European mechanism would be sensible to like 30 minutes later. <laughs> I'm like, all right, let's get to the post game. It's not going to be I love uh, Alona, thank you so much. Mike Racine is fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> His 
sit down with my museum is one of the only new like pieces of cultural content that I like literally was like, oh, I'm actually voluntarily listening to this and sending it to people. I literally bother people. Like, you gotta listen to this cold open, it's fucking funny. Does it make fun of Blue Apron as the Godfather? <laughs> but it's hysterical. Mike is a, a good stand up dude and a hilarious guy. I'm so glad he's a part of it. Thank you, Mike. Woo! And Thank you. Oscar Tukar is another person that I'm just incredibly proud to call a friend. of sincere ethical commitment to the cause with a type of no bullshit, no drama savvy is exactly what we need and what we all should be aspiring for. Bhaskar, thank you very much. And each and every one of you, I have a family here, I have um, people who mentor me, people who help me, I can't thank each and every one of them, but I do want to note that. I appreciate I have people very close to me that I should Knowledge specifically that each and every one of you make this possible. I have nothing but love and appreciation for all of you. Left is best. Left is best. Left is best.